Hello, my digital art students. Welcome to the next video for this unit. Um, today, I'm going to be going over a little bit of a digital photo analysis, as you see um, on the sheet here. I'm going to be going over some of the photos that I've taken over the last few days during this social distancing and uh, distance learning experience. And I'm going to tell you what I like and maybe what I didn't love about some of the photos that I've taken. Um, and hopefully that can spark some ideas for you. Um, all right, so this first photo that you see up here, um, it's of my dog, Teddy. Um, I took this on Friday, uh, kind of when I got home, and as you can see, he just woke up from a nap. Um, didn't really seem to care too much about what was going on in the world, as long as I was able to feed him dinner, which I did. Um, but I kind of like the facial expression I got. It, it helped that I was holding a treat above his head, so if you're taking a picture of an animal, maybe you can kind of coerce them to cooperate with a snack of some sort. Um, if I were to, and again, these are all unedited photos, uh, give or take maybe a tiny crop, but not even. Um, but uh, one thing I would would consider in this photo is uh, cropping. If you see on the side, um, you can see a little bit of a white table. Don't really want that in there. It's not enough to make it purposeful. Also, if I were retaking this photo, I'd probably maybe fix the curtain because it seems a little um, wrinkly or crumbled. Um, so it's just one thing to think about. Again, uh, you want to limit the amount of unnecessary distractions in the photo. Um, the next photo that I want to go over here is something that we went uh, to the supermarket on Saturday and I just first of all I was just very taken back by uh, a lot of things that seemed empty that were never empty in the past um, but I took this picture towards the end when I was online because um, it was kind of weird seeing people checking out at supermarkets with masks on and I kind of snuck this picture while I was waiting on a very, very long line. Um, one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that I had to zoom in a little bit, so I lost a lot of quality when I took that photo. But I think the content was really more was what I was going for than anything else. Um, here, uh, never in my life have I ever seen a fairway pasta shelf empty, like barren, nothing. One jar of sauce. I tried to focus in on that, and I kind of like the idea that if you follow the the lines down down the uh, the photo, you you end at a person pushing a cart full of food. Uh, if I were to retake this photo, and obviously I can't restage this the way it was, I'm not a huge fan of having just part of the cart closer to us in the photo. But again, sometimes you have to just take them as they come. Um, this past Sunday, I live very close to the Queens County Farm. Um, it's a great little farm as a farm stand and all these other things. And they have uh, li uh, livestock. So in this photo here, uh, you can see I got a picture of one of the cows eating. I like the idea that you see the school in the background um, and uh, they got this big giant cow right in the forefront, which I feel like you don't see too often in the Brooklyn, Queens area. But there you go. Speaking of things you don't see every day, you don't see sheep. <laughs> um, I happened to capture this guy. Uh, we had some hay that we were feeding him through the fence, so he kind of looked my way. Uh, I do like how I was able to capture uh, his facial expression looking at us. I'm not a fan of the other stuff in the background. Um, again, there's not many things you can do about that. I could try to blur the background a little bit when I get to that next step. Uh, all right, so let me go to the ne my next photo here. Um, it was my wife's birthday last week, and I got her a bouquet of flowers. So uh, just. The other day, um, I took a picture of, we have this little mantle piece thing, uh, so I took a picture of the flowers uh, on the table. Um, I tried to take a close up and I'll show you that one next, which is this one here. Um, and gr granted, her birthday was last Wednesday and I took this picture on Monday, so obviously the flowers uh, don't last forever. Um, so if I were to maybe retake this photo. Um, if I'm looking at it, I do kind of like the close-up shot. I think I got a lot of detail. Um, but one thing I don't like in this photo is uh, there's a, a one petal that's sort of really sticking out. I should have looked at it and maybe just sort of plucked that petal off um, and uh, the photo would be a little bit stronger. It kind of just takes me out of, out of it. Uh, you might recognize this photo if you've already checked out the topic page. Um, this is just me being silly. You know, this would be kind of a fun photo to have. Uh, it says distance learning, you know, did you see me, I have the Zafarian hat on. Um, if I were to give myself any criticism here, it's that the sketchbook is a little um, diagonal, it's a little bit crooked, uh, it's something I would fix. Also, I feel like 
the top of the easel is sort of in front of my face, so it makes my face in shadow seem more distant, and it kind of takes me off of it. So that's something that maybe I could reconsider. Maybe instead of having an easel, maybe I'll just hold the sketchbook or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so that's that uh, that photo there. Um, and this one here, I just uh, I thought it'd be interesting as I'm making these videos today on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, just kind of taking a picture of my little workspace here. I'm working at my dining room table. Um, I want to show a couple of things that I have going on here. If I'm doing voiceovers, I'm using my headphones. If I'm doing some drawing, I have my drawing uh, my, my drawing materials there on the side as well. Uh, and obviously, it's it's almost it's pretty much a self portrait because I'm I'm taking a picture of the computer screen. Um, again, thinking about omissions. Um, thinking about decluttering, right? The the chair on the other side of the table is kind of unnecessary for the photo. Um, it makes me think that someone should be sitting there. So maybe I wouldn't have that one in there. That's just me. And lastly, you might recognize this from the last video. Uh, this handsome devil holding the camera is me. Again, a self-portrait. A um, couple of things to think about in this photo. If you remember things like rule of thirds, um, I'm not quite in the middle, like I'm not quite symmetrically in the middle, yet I'm not really in the rule of thirds line inch here. So this is a simple solution a crop could do. A couple of things to maybe think about is uh, I see part of the, uh, we have these really cool uh, uh, deer statues on the wall, um, but I'm not seeing enough of it, so it really seems out of place, unnecessary. Maybe when I crop it, I can think about cropping that out. Same thing with the, the um, the glassware uh, shelf behind me. Uh, that's something that might not necessarily be necessary in the photo, but again, if I'm cropping it to get the rule of thirds, I may just crop out those unnecessary items as well and keep myself in rule of thirds. So these are a couple of photos that I, I took over the last couple of days. Um, hopefully me just talking about them uh, gives you some ideas and, and some ways that you can make your photos stronger, uh, a stronger composition. Um, in the meantime, what I'd like you to do is to look around you and gather three to five photos that you think are strong compositions. You're going to put them in a quick PowerPoint, no text needed other than your name. Um, we will have a turn in for these photos on uh, Friday and uh, I'll be able to review them and I'm going to choose one together that you're going to want to work back into in either Adobe Sketch or Adobe Draw. Alright, so in the meantime, happy photoing. <laughs>